Hutchins. And what about that head? Plenty of support for Papua New Guinea. They really do know how to entertain this side. And they're getting a real rev up from their supporters as they come out onto this field. The crowd loves them. Let's run through their squad of 10. Buko, Thomas, Gumaya, Bogey, Toivita, Stanley Haru, the number seven is Stanley Jean, Okul, Payo, and Daroa Ben Moyd. What a lineup. And the man with a job in charge of this match is Mark Oten. Young referee on the way up, I'm told. And maybe looking for some first grade, first grade experience, rather, in 95. Players underway, the Gold Coast driving the ball deep downfield. You don't want to bet against these Papua New Guinea side scoring from any tackle. They can score from anywhere. But not on this occasion. You put the mock on there, Andrew. Not a good start from PNG, a little knock on. Important to get a quick play of the ball in the sevens competition. Might have had a little bit of a help there from Darren Anderson. Dunham and picks the ball up from the scrum base, goes centre field, trying to link up with his outside men. And now he does just that with a man unmarked on the outside. This is Andrew Hodge going for the corner, rounded up in the defence. That was cool on the corner. They're 10 metres out from the Papua New Guinea line. The ball comes in field through Brendan Hurst, charging it straight up. The fence front on was needed. Elias Payo came up with a tackle. And again, some desperation stuff right on their own line. The Papua New Guinea side, they do well. well they had to let the ball go wide. There were two PNG players. Well, he's played it forward and will score. Brian Quinton, the player. And they scored one later on than they should have done. They had big numbers to the left-hand side. Quinton put the ball down. Quite an experienced player. Was able to dive on it. You see, no marker at all. Slow up. Number six, Stanley Haru, tried to kick out and prevent the try being scored. There was no hope. That's the first points, and that knock-on second tackle from PNG has proved very costly. And Brendan Hurst is the kicker for the Gold Coast side. Unsuccessful, the score remains four points to nil. As now Papua New Guinea run the ball back up through Buko. Tackled five metres inside the Seagulls half. Got an enormous wrap out there, Andrew, on the number five for the Gold Coast, Andrew Duneman. Watched him play Commonwealth Bank Cup for the Toowoomba side. He was a class player, signed with the Gold Coast with his brother Ian Dunham two years ago. Ian played a lot of first grade last year. But Andrew, one of the best young ball players I've ever seen. As Oakle finds some support inside in Payo. We wrap indeed for Dunham, but in the meantime, Payo, 20 metres out from the Gold Coast line, plenty of defence there. It's Dunham down below over the top four ladder. And now they work it across left side. There is an overlap. Standing in the tackle there is Buko. They keep it going now through the hands of Okul. Now on the way to Gumia. He tries to send it inside. He does the ball to Stanley Haru. And Papua New Guinea come up with their first try. It's for all. Great sevens football there. Keeping the ball alive. Looked to take advantage of an overlap out wide. It was good sliding play from the Gold Coast after Sattler had raced in and given the opposition the chance out wide. Not much room to work in there. Step back inside. Two tacklers involved. The ball coming back inside to Haru. He's got a good try. This is great work here for, by Gomia. Attracting two defenders. Dunaman couldn't wrap him up over the top. Although Adrian Brunker was carried over the try line, the ball was placed. And Buko's attempted goal is wide, so for all the score remains. Papua New Guinea with a pretty fair record in the seven. Six wins, six losses since 1992. They were runners up in the trophy final last year to the Raiders. But now it's the coast. Playing the ball there was Ward. They go forward this time through Brunker. Putting the pace on there, Adrian Brunker. Yeah, Brunker seeing that there was a weakness in the middle of the defence for PNG. Ball back inside from Dunham and finds Ward, who in turn finds Darren Anderson. A long ball out wide, great pass. Paul Ladder for the corner, and that's a second try for the Gold Coast. Well, well spotted. And well constructed too. Some nice work in the centre of the field for the wide pass. They've pretty much an unchecked run to the winger, keeping the ball alive as Papua New Guinea were able to do. You can see there the man throwing the ball attracted two defenders. 
That gave Latter a free run to the try line. Each occasion that these teams have had the football, they've been able to convert into points. Dunerman, a very tough conversion attempt. Just in from touch. They're up by four points. Can they make it six? Dunerman struck it pretty well and gets the two points. A valuable conversion from Andrew Dunerman. He can do it all. Sometimes underestimated the conversion in sevens football. And this Gold Coast side up by six. Steve Roach on the sideline. Yeah, one player I'd like to talk about, the Gold, the Gold Coast coach was telling me about uh, John Harvey, Ben Eichen. He's only 17 years of old, uh, of age, Australian schoolboy, 5'8 or centre. They've got big wraps on that bloke. But don't these New Guineans know how to play football? You've got to put them on the ground. Ball handling here. Now Ben Moyd keeps it going. Papua New Guinea inside the 20. Toy better inside ball. Here goes Stanley Haru, the big somersault. Great try, Papua New Guinea. Well, I don't know if Papua New Guinea can win this sevens tournament, but they're going to provide plenty of entertainment on the way. With this kind of football, they're going to score some of the best tries we'll see over the next three days. Every person stays alive, and that's not easy to do. Sometimes you come up empty, don't get the pass when you thought you should have. That's a great ball from Toy Vita inside. Stanley Haru, great support player. Not bad with the acrobatics. Pace the somersault. The extra two are all tied up. Ten all. Papua New Guinea in the Gold Coast. This conversion, there it was on replay. Successful from Payo. And now the Gold Coast back with it. Brendan Hurst, 38 metres out from the Papua New Guinea line. They've got just under one and a half minutes left on the clock as Adrian Brunker has cleaned up. Still managed to get the ball away. Both of these sides playing very good sevens football. The support play is tremendous. See there, Papua New Guinea forced to bring in two defenders. Brendan Gold, Hurst, it was tackled. Gold Coast would love to put on the final points before half-time. Ten all now. That would be a big springboard for them, second half. Eichen with a pass to Anderson. He got away from one. Darren Anderson straightens things up. Desperation tackle of beauty. The yeah. tackle from Gumia. Fantastic play from Papua New Guinea. And again, right on their own line. It's still on for the Seagulls. The long ball over the top. Now running for the corner is Dunerman, no, rather... He just pick up that it's Hodge. Hodge, it is Andrew Hodge. And the Gold Coast edge in front, 14 points to 10. Good scrambling there from PNG, but really when you get numbers, it's just too tough. 12 metres out, very nice select long ball to the number seven, Andrew Hodge. Improves the position with only 20 seconds left on the clock. The conversion attempt is unsuccessful. Maybe still time for Papua New Guinea to edge back though, even allowing for the fact that it's less than 10 seconds. Maybe the kick over the top straight from the kickoff. Well, Maybe not. It should have been. They've, they've got to know where they stand with the time, and really that was a nothing play. And a curl it is who takes the tackle. So we go to half time with the Seagulls up by four. Gold Coast 14, Papua New Guinea 10. We'll take a break and be back with Wings. So this Gold Coast side have been signed from Lismore in the off season. Paul Latter and Andrew Hodge, and both players getting on the scorer sheet in the first half. As forward they go, Hurst has tackled five inside his own half. Three men in the tackle. You don't often see a three-man tackle in sevens. As Dunerman gets out of dummy half and does it at top pace. Long ball to Latter, he puts it down cold. And that has to be a knock-on. The scrum will pack down inside Papua New Guinea's half. Well, the, bar, the pass was fine, but let's just have a look if the ball is knocked on here. Actually thought it hit him and went backwards, but in the modern game, anything put down seems to be pulled up. I didn't see it propelled towards the opponent's try line, but up in New Guinea now, through Toy Vita going centre field. Keep the ball alive, there's got to be a chance. There's two Gold Coast defenders still on the ground. It's Haru who straightened up the attack. He's tackled nine metres inside his own half. They keep it going this time. Payo, short ball. Man, almost through the gap. Wrapped up over the top. Again, it's Dunerman. It's all customer, Andrew Dunerman. As Papua New Guinea again they go. Ball switched inside from Ben Moyd, the oldest member of this Papua New Guinea squad. And they're five metres inside the Gold Coast half. Market defence from the Gold Coast, very good. So important as a little kick goes through from Gene. He's been knocked down. It'll be a penalty. A bit of inspiration there from the number seven from PNG, and they've got a roll on here. Payo takes the quick tap, got support, should score. 
Papua New Guinea going forward to Ibiza. And he puts out the big left mitt for a try. Papua New Guinea level it up. It's 14 all. This try scorer, Michael Tobita. A real contest this game. One of the better games in this seventh competition. I think the speed of the, the, the penalty tap really threw the Gold Coast out. PNG got up there, took the tap very quickly, and they got support players in position extremely well. Toy Vita steps back inside. He's got great elu elusive footwork, this man. A fairly easy conversion attempt. And a vital kick at that. They get the extra two, and that is the margin at the moment. Papua New Guinea 16, the Gold Coast 14. Blocker, Papua New Guinea looking good. Yeah, they certainly are. They play an exciting uh, brand of football. They're the real crowd pleasers. I was very impressed with their half-time speech, actually. They said they've got to keep the ball alive, slide a bit more on the fence, and try and hold the Gold Coast down. And coached by Barty Do. A big rap for Barty from Blocker Roach. As the coast go forward, 31 metres out from the Papua New Guinea line, the tackle came from Ben Moy. Coleman now. Hasn't had a great deal of time on the field so far. Duneman has been the playmaker. The ball goes through the hands of Ward. Now on the outside to Quinton. The man unmarked is Hodge for the corner. He gets another try, Andrew Hodge. Plenty of pace and brings it back round as close as he can to the posts. And now the Gold Coast. It's back in front by two. It's parry thrust, parry thrust at the moment. The Gold Coast are back in the ascendancy. Duneman keeping the ball alive, attracting two defenders. And then it's a simple draw and pass drill. Lovely bit of speed out here on the wing, Andrew Hodge, and he boots two defenders to try and bring the conversion attempt a little bit closer to the post. Duneman steps up, taking his time. He landed one from the sideline earlier, and he's got another one. Good style about him with his attempts at goal, but no rest here. The score, 20 points to 16. Hey. Papua New Guinea tried to take the quick tap from the kickoff. Well, for the restart, and they were called back to try it again. So let's see what Elias Payo can do. He stutters up to the line. He's at the same place as he got called back from. Awesome sight. We've got just under three minutes now, and it's important that New Guinea can score the try here. The flick pass is OK. No Pe knock on. Payo had to dive on it. Inside dummy almost to Toy Vita. One of the try scorers tackled was Petrus Thomas. Now Toy Vita in the headgear. Puts that headgear right underneath the defensive line, or tries to. Important thing for the Gold Coast is if PNG do score, they will have time. There's Haru now. Stanley Haru it is. They've come up with a drop ball, Papua New Guinea. They have forced the knock on, but it will be a Gold Coast feed. And it will be 25 metres out from the Seagulls line. They're up by four, and just a little over two minutes remaining. And this is where the experience of Craig Coleman, the number four for the Gold Coast, will come to the fore. He had a look up at the clock as soon as that mistake was made by the opposition. He'll just wind the clock down as Brian Quinton gets outside his man. He won't have the speed. Looks for support inside. Comes in the shape of Hodge, but the ball him down. Well, a chance back now for Papua New Guinea. They've got 55 metres to cover. They're down by four, and they run it forward for a settler. Tackled in possession that time was Stanley Haru. Across the line through Payo. He again slows up. The point of attack tackled there by Quinton. Still unloads. Gets it going through Stanley Jean this time. He's looking for a man on his outside, no one wrapping around. Stanley Haru stayed on his inside. The Stanley boys, as now the ball goes to Buko. A dummy there from Thomas. He threw it back inside, not wrapped up by the defence. They keep it alive for Haru. Now away is a Gumiya with it. He throws it back inside. Haru picks up the loose ball. Play on. So Papua New Guinea still with it, 29 metres out from the line. The ball comes through Buko again. Big David Buku tackled. 25 metres out from the Gold Coast line. Nobody at home in the second line. Would they try the little kick over the top? They do. Stanley Jean. Solo effort from Stanley Jean and a knock on. And there are four hands have gone up from the Gold Coast players there. They want to get off. They're exhausted. Great defence there. There was no one at home in the second line, but the kick went up and all of a sudden, three players realised the urgency of the situation. And now with 45 seconds to go, Craig Coleman will make sure this scrum is won. And then it'll be five from the dummy half position. The penalty will help. Well, this Gold Coast side, at any old price to win the sevens, they are in the easy half of the draw, I guess. Perhaps a surprise packet. They could make it through it to at least the semi-finals. And that was smart play as well from the Gold Coast. They didn't want to risk not putting the ball into touch from the penalty kick. Time is on their side. It's a slow play, the ball. They're too slow. Have a look at Daroa Ben Moy. 
almost shaping up there. He wanted to play the ball quick as Brunker runs it forward. 32 metres out from his own line. They lead by four, and this will be the last play of the game, if that. From dummy half, that's all they'll do. The Gold Coast side, the tackle came from Haru, but that is full time and victory to the Gold Coast. They're scraped home by four, the Gold Coast 20. Papua New Guinea 16, but still plenty to come on Nine's Wide World of Sports. This is the Coca-Cola World Rugby League Sevens.